Closing arguments in the Chad Daybell trial set for tomorrow. The self-proclaimed doomsday prophet could face the death penalty if a jury finds him guilty of killing two Arizona children and his first wife. The prosecution concluded rebuttals in an Idaho courtroom this morning. Fox 10 investigator Justin Lum, who's been on this from the very beginning, joins us live with the latest on this capital murder case. And John, Christina, initially the state estimated needing no more than two full days for rebuttal witnesses. We've heard six testify, and it didn't last too long, all told not lasting more than a whole day. Prosecutors aiming at the defense's witnesses' specific arguments they've been trying to poke holes in. Today, we heard from a couple witnesses in law enforcement. First, the retired chief medical examiner of Utah, though, who conducted the autopsy on Tammy Daybell. Chad Daybell is accused of murdering his first wife of nearly 30 years and capitalizing off her life insurance policies. The medical examiner once again confirming her cause of death is asphyxia and the manner is homicide. Remember, last week the defense called on a forensic pathology expert who believed Tammy's cause of death was undetermined. As for the two other victims in the case, 7-year-old J.J. Vallow and 16-year-old Tylee Ryan, we know the children of convicted murderer Lori Vallow were discovered in the Daybell backyard. A detective spoke about Chad Daybell's location settings through his Google account. What did you find? Uh, January 3rd, 2019, uh, the user of the account uh, looked up how to turn off the uh, location services on location or GPS services on an iPhone. Remember, the cell phone device of Lori Vallow's late brother, Alex Cox, is the device that pinged in the backyard where JJ and Tyler were found dead in June of 2020. Those pings came following the days of the last sightings of both children. The defense had argued that Daybell's device never pinged in the backyard, even though he lived at that residence on those two significant dates they were pointing to. Now, we are streaming closing arguments tomorrow for the Daybell trial on our Fox 10 YouTube channel. Just scan the QR code on your screen for more information. I will be providing live analysis throughout the day. I'm Fox 10 investigator Justin Lum.